Okay guys, what's up? So, today we're doing kind of a thing, I, I, I'm actually trying this for the first time, but it's going to be that time of year, um, turtles, tur not turtle season, but turtles are becoming more active and I do turtle work on the side for a little bit extra money, catching them out of people's ponds, creeks, stuff like that. And one problem I have is keeping fresh bait on me, you know, constantly. Now, if you don't know a lot about turtles, fresh bait is kind of the best thing. They're not really like catfish and they like these stinky stuff. Well, they will, but fresh bait is really the best thing to have. Now, the bait I'm usually using is um, bluegill. Well, not bluegill, but these little hand fish in general. And I'll go out to a pond and I'll catch like 40, 50 of them in a few hours and I'll freeze them whole in these bags. And you have this big brick of fish. Problem is, they don't really last too long in the back of the truck. You know, especially when it's like 100 degrees outside, which it, you know, ends up a lot of times in Mississippi. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try salting these fish. Now, this should, from what I understand, salting works pretty good for most everything. Um, you can use these for mate. You can use these for, like, uh, your water trapping or your fish sticks or whatever. And, you know... It's more of a low cost way, more convenient way to keep your uh, fresh bait on you. So what you're going to need, from my understanding here, first time doing this, you're going to need a container. Um, usually you want something like a five gallon bucket or uh, one of those one gallon pails that uh, bakeries use. But I got this one gallon uh, cylindrical tub. I, I guess it has a handle on it. Um, you want someone with a twist off lid or a closed lid or something like that. Um, you're going to need salt. You're going to need a good bit of salt. Just cheap old dollar store brand I dye salt. And you're going to need your fish. Now, let's put this to the side real quick. Now, as you see, these fish are frozen in a brick. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to peel these off. So, First thing we gotta do is get this these fish broken up. Well like these fish. Okay. So cool way to do that is we'll remove this inside. You don't need some hard, you're gonna need like a concrete floor or you know, I don't know, a dock or uh, I don't know, some hard like that, hard flat. All I'm gonna do is just that. And as you see it's gonna break off. You just, and I like to do it in the bag. Even if you don't, you want to just fly everywhere. I'm going to do that a few times. And there you go. We got our, got our maltable fish brick. And just go ahead and give y'all a warning. Uh, check your laws, check your state laws about doing this because I know some of you, these are size fish I'm getting these are just like random pan fish we have them like every pond out here has like a, a, a kajillion of these things but still check your state laws about this because I know you guys in like uh, Minnesota and like Wisconsin with like your crazy like borderline I don't even know but your laws are crazy and I would not be surprised if y'all go to jail for like doing what I'm doing here. No one down here really cares. We really don't have that many laws about this. So please check your state laws about this and don't go to prison. So anyway, this is about uh, about 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my salt, pour it in my container. I want a good layer. About a half inch layer, I guess, for these size fish. I'm gonna layer a few fish in there. And the salt should also toughen them up. So, from, again, from my understanding, from what I've watched and read, and you wanna try to lay them in there flat. And it looks like we can, get, we can fit about four of them in there, so this is what they're looking like. So, layer of salt, layer of fish, then we're going to put another layer of salt. And 
By the time these thaw out, you should be able to put more salt. Be able to put more fish, more salt. So, about another half inch of salt. Another layer of fish. We're trying to break them up. Pretty good like this. Try not to have like any overlapping too much because then you can get like you could possibly get back to your growth and that could spoil stuff like that. But see, you don't want to just throw that in there. You want to try to break them, break them up. So put number four. I mean, you could probably go out with a cast net. Get like as many as you want. And as I said, this this would probably be a good way to keep um, keep bait on you, like in your boat, or like me in your truck, if you're like catfishing or something. This would be a good way to keep backup bait. Probably won't work as good as like super fresh, but I mean, I guess if you put like fish oil on it or something, it'll work. And we're just going to keep layering it. I'm out of salt here. I want to go to the store and get some more salt, but but there you go. That's basically the gist of it. Right in here, I probably have enough, and I would really want that layer to be, you know, full of salt till it's flat. But I probably have enough fish here to uh, do about two days worth of turtle bait. And it's pretty streamlined. And I can just throw this in the back of my truck, but I can let it sit here. I'm gonna see how that works. But there you go, guys. Uh, figured that'd be a little informative for you. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep track of that, see how that works. Cause this, this is my first time doing it. Because usually I just take the little frozen, little fro frozen fish like this, and I bake the traps with some um, that's another way I found out, so we're going to try it, so, I uh, hope this was informative to y'all, and, uh, if y'all have any ideas on this, if you have any more experience, you know, like, comment, um, hit me up in the comments, um, if you have any questions, um, Wolf Dog now on Trapper Man, I only try, I try to keep PMs, and I only try to sell stuff on Trapper Man, that's just what I'm more comfortable with, so, uh, as I said, hope this was informative and I hope it helps you out somehow. So, later.